The Top 10 Biggest Weapons Ever Made At number 10, the 600 Nitro Express. This revolver handgun is definitely one of the biggest and probably one of the most impractical guns out there. It weighs in at a whopping 13 pounds, and it produces a muzzle energy of 7,500 foot-pounds. It is also quite expensive, at over 27 grand, so it's kind of one of those things which is more for bragging rights. It is your typical 5 round revolver, but the bullets are 3 inches long, which also adds to the extreme weight of the gun. Ultimately this gun is for shooting dinosaurs and Godzilla, but it will probably knock you out in the process. At number 9, the 950JDJ. The largest current center fire rifle is pretty much an artillery gun. The bullets alone weigh a pound, and still have a muzzle velocity of 2200 feet per second. Naturally, the gun has a massive recoil, which is roughly 13 times the recoil of a 308 rifle. So yeah, it's enough to cause severe or fatal injuries. The gun is typically used for hunting flying whales, spaceships, and meteorites. At number 8, the M65 Atomic Cannon. Developed during the beginning of the Cold War, the M65 brought total carnage to the battlefield, and it was capable of firing a 15 kiloton warhead. I just wonder whoever comes up with these crazy ideas. Anyways, it literally carried the same firepower as the Hiroshima bomb. The gun weighed over 86 tons and was transported by two trucks, making it to be one of the few mobile nuclear weapons. It also could be set up in about 15 minutes, and with a range of over 20 miles, it was a weapon that you didn't want to contend with and it was probably a good idea just to aim a little bit higher than normal with this one. Fortunately, this weapon never obliterated anyone, and it was only used once at a test firing range. At number 7, Athena. One of the most powerful class of lasers clocks in at over 30 kilowatts. It is far from being the most powerful laser in the world, but it can shoot down most drones and smaller aircraft. It has this powerful capability thanks to a process called spectrum beam combining, which uses multiple optical fibers flexed into a coil. Athena is also a transportable ground system, so it's very versatile and it can be used in a variety of scenarios. Now this laser is going to be quickly outdone with another system called the Helads laser, which is over 150 kilowatts. It is being tested right now and it will be operational in a few years, so laser weapons are definitely going to change the future of the battlefield. At number 6, the Yamamoto's Battleship Gun. The Japanese battleship carried the largest caliber artillery gun which clocked in at over 18 inches. The shells alone weighed as much as a small car and they had a range of over 25 miles, so it was a pretty feared weapon in the battlefield. Ironically, the guns were intended to sink other battleships, but it only performed in one battle to which it sunk an American escort and destroyer. Another odd fact was the 18-inch caliber gun was outfitted with an anti-aircraft shell. That seems a little bit overkill. The shell was exceptionally dangerous and detonated in mid-air thanks to a time fuse. The 18-inch artillery gun was massive, but there was also another ship titled the HMS Furious, which also employed a gun of almost equal size. At number 5, the Little David. Ironically, this American mortar gun was one of the biggest. With a 36-inch caliber cable of projecting a 3,600-pound shell, it would pretty much obliterate anything within 6 miles. But the gun was thankfully never intended to be used for combat, and was rather employed as a testing bed for firing aerial bombs. The barrel alone weighed over 80,000 pounds, requiring it to be transported by two artillery tractors. So ultimately Little David packed a punch, but it did lack accuracy and mobility. At number 4, the R36M. Codenamed Satan, yes I probably pronounced that wrong, but the name is suitable for this weapon since it was the world's longest and biggest ICBM with a range of roughly 10,000 miles. The R36 weighed in at over just 8 tons and it could travel up to Mach 23, or 16,000 miles per hour. There were several variants of the Satan with one cable of carrying a 25 megaton warhead. So thank goodness that these were never used and let's hope that ICBMs are not continued to be made. At number 3, the Moab. You have probably heard about the mother of all bombs. It's one of the biggest bombs in the world, and it's 21,000 pounds capable of destroying a one mile surface area. At a cost of over $16 million a piece, it was considered to be one of the most expensive and powerful non-nuclear weapons ever designed. One was eventually used in an airstrike against ISIS in Afghanistan, but this was quickly outdone by the father of all bombs, which was designed by the Russians and it was proclaimed to be four times more powerful than the mother of all bombs. But oddly, the Foab was a little bit lighter than the American Moab. 
so there's still a little bit of debate on what the real numbers are. Either way, let's hope that there won't be a grandfather of all bombs, which obliterates entire countries. And number two, the Dessar Bomb. Built by the Soviets in 1961, the biggest and most powerful nuclear bomb ever made could pulverize small nations into oblivion. But thankfully, nobody was killed by this 50 megaton Goliath, and it was actually detonated on a remote island in the Arctic Ocean. The explosion was over 5 miles wide, with a mushroom cloud over 40 miles high, 10 times more powerful than all the munitions exploded during World War II. And we wonder why aliens don't contact us. The most interesting thing about this story is that it took a very brave crew to deliver the bomb, and there was only a 50% chance of survival. One plane narrowly escaped, while the other plane dropped 3,000 feet after being hit by the shockwave. But it eventually recovered, and it made it back to base. 50 megatons is just insane, and let's just hope that no more nuclear weapons are ever detonated on Earth again. And number one, the Gustav gun. The biggest artillery gun was so big that it required its own railway. Developed by the Germans in World War II, the gun was so big that it was used suddenly at different points of the war. The gun was just under 1,500 tons, and it fired 7-ton shells, which could travel over 29 miles away. These shells created huge craters over 30 feet deep, and it could penetrate over 23 feet of concrete. However, this gun lacked versatility, and it required over 2,000 people in order to operate. It also was limited to 14 rounds per day due to required calibration, and overall the barrel was completely shot, with no pun intended, after only a couple of hundred shots. Eventually this gun was dismantled at the end of the war in 1945. So the gun was very unique, and you're unlikely to see something like this ever again. So once again, thanks for watching, please like the video if you enjoyed it, and make sure to subscribe to my channel.